Hey guys, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. And I want to let you know that we're going to start a contest every month. So for the whole year, every month we're going to be giving away some bling. You can get some swag like our B-52 Bucktails, get our Magic Metal Jigs. We're also going to be giving away t-shirts and hats from the TV show. And a few of you are going to win free fishing trips. Join me on filming trips or join me on a trip on my own boat, the Misuenio that I do private charters on. So to qualify for these giveaways, all you have to do is subscribe right here to my YouTube channel, leave a comment down below, and please follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and you'll qualify to win some of these great prizes. Every month I'll be giving them away. So enjoy the video, and I'll talk to you afterwards. Hey guys, today I want to talk to you a little bit about sculpin fishing, and show you the ultimate rig for catching sculpin. And I call it that because it was taught to me by some of the local uh, deckhands on the boats and they catch sculpin all the time here in Southern California. And now in California, sculpin are open year round. But depending when you watch this video, I would suggest you check California regulations to make sure that that's still the case. But right now, um, sculpin is year, open year round. Normally it's closed off toward the end of the year and doesn't open again until March 1st with rockfish. But uh, this year, it's open right now. So um, check the regular your local regulations to make sure because I'm not sure when you'll be watching this video. So to make sure that the regulations are the same. But uh, the number one way to catch them is using a B-52 bucktail. If you only want to catch one big sculpin, uh, trying to catch like jackpot if you're on a sculpin trip, then I would suggest tie on a six ounce B-52 bucktail and a whole squid or add at least a double A single grub on there with strips of squid or strips of mackerel. Fish it right on the bottom, sculpin it right on the bottom. So you want to hit the rocks, hit the bottom, stay down there. That's where the sculpin are. They hang out really close to rocks and you'll get a nice fish. But if you want to get your limit, you want to get your five fish, um, a number one way to do it is a double dropper loop rig using the one ounce B52 bucktails. Easy way to rig these is you slide on the first one. There we go. Get it up there, up the line a little bit. Then you're going to go ahead and tie uh, a dropper loop rig. It's real simple. Five passes. One, two, three, four, five. Slide your bucktail right through that hole in the loop. And then I always like to um, wet my line before I cinch it down. So just grab the two ends of the, the line here, the rig. Wet it a little bit. And then cinch it down. And that's your first dropper loop. Then you tie on the second one. And it's really important at this point that you don't tie them right next to each other. If you put the one bait there and then the other one this close, if you hook um, a big sculpin in this one, you're never going to catch a fish on this one because it's going to be covered up by the big fish. So you want to space them far enough apart so you can catch a big fish here and a big fish here. All right. And I probably go a little bit farther. Like if I was out fishing, I'd probably have about three feet in between. Here I can't quite do that but just give you a little idea. Go ahead, go five times. Slide the bucktail right through the loop. Again, cinch down your knot and wet it. Just like that. And then back here, I'm gonna tie on a sinker. Lots of different knots you can tie for this. This was just a knot that my dad had taught me like, I don't know, 40 years ago. Never seen it in any of the books. I still use it today. Just take the tag in. On the tag in on the sinker, you don't have to cut it right really close. You can leave some line there, it'll be fine. So you're gonna have your sinker, who's gonna lay on the bottom and then your two bucktails. And when you fish with the bucktails, you don't want the bucktails to be super suspended high. You want to put a little bit of slack in your line 
so that your bucktails will get down closer and when you feel the bites then you know wind up on them you're not going to really set the hook on it when you're down 200 feet 150 feet but if you tighten your line up the fish will attach itself on there for you but everybody sets the hook sets the hook but really just kinds of stretches you do have a chance to set the hook if you're using all spectra and then just have this as a short leader um, to your dropper loop rig then you probably have a good chance to set the hook then but other than that just wind up and the fish will get attached to themselves and this is a double dropper loop rig make sure you fish it close to the bottom give it some slack and you're going to catch a lot more fish if you keep it tight and have the bucktails way off the bottom you're not going to get bit but you got to get that stuff right down on the rocks get those bucktails off the rocks there move them around that's where you're going to catch the fish again you can put a small strip of squid a strip of mackerel on there will help the fish hold on to it but what's really nice about the bucktail is that if your bait does come off the action of the bucktail is still going to attract the fish and you're still going to catch fish that's why i always like using the b52 bucktails when i'm sculping fishing rock fishing that way if the bait does come off i still have a good chance to get bit and catch fish all right so this is the basic rig you can find the b52 bucktails at a lot of the local tackle stores here in southern california if you can't find them at your store please ask them to order them for you or you can visit our website at sport-fishing.com and you can find them there there's links to the bucktails down below in the description of the video and there's probably one or two up here so um, you can find them there too but they work really really good i know you're going to like them especially for for fishing for sculpin there's nothing better than a B-52 bucktail for sculpting. And this simple rig, a double dropper loop rig, is the way you want to fish it. Again, space them out far enough so if you hook a big fish on this one, you know, up here, that you have a chance to catch another big fish away from it. Put them too close together, you're only going to catch one fish. It's a long ways to go down for just one fish. You really should be able to catch two at a time. You get on a good spot. And using the bucktails, it's really going to help you do that. Make sure that you're careful with them because they are poisonous and every one of those spines on the fish has some venom. For most people, it's just like a bee sting. If you're very allergic to it, then you'll have a reaction. But most of the times that uh, I've seen people stung, and me, I've been stung many, many times. It's just like a little bee sting and it comes, goes away a little bit. All right, so this is a basic rig. Pick up your B-52 bucktails today. Give it a shot your next time on the water. Please subscribe right here to my YouTube channel. Leave a comment down below and you'll be entered into the giveaway contest. And maybe you'll win some bucktails. You never know. We have lots of great prizes we're handing out every month right here on our YouTube channel. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you all later. Bye. Hey, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And just want to remind you, we have that contest going all year long. Every month we'll be giving away prizes. You still have time to get in while you're watching the video. Subscribe right here to my YouTube channel. Leave a comment down below. Make sure you like this video. And also follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. I'm TV Dan on Instagram. Thanks again for watching. Enter the contest and maybe you'll want a trip to come fish with me on my boat, the Misueño. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later.